Hello brilliant jewelry channel. A couple of years ago I had the chance to make tutorials for Light Tracer and yes lovely people we have come a long way. This is Light Tracer 3.0. So today I will be rendering different jewelry scenes and different jewels using the brand new Light Tracer 3.0. Light Tracer is an independent rendering software so it's not a free software, but you can try it for free and the prices are interesting. You can have a perpetual license. So there's this perfect option and stay tuned because we have licenses giveaway. Yes, you heard well. There's one perpetual license that you can win and five three months licenses. So follow this tutorial and I will be explaining the dynamic of the giveaway. First, we need to prepare our 3D models. You can use any 3D software as you like. Light Tracer supports many formats, but the object file format is my favorite file format for these operations. Okay, so first let's go to your favorite 3D jewelry software. I'm using Blender, obviously. Select your objects, check that you name the materials just to have material separation. File, export, object, selection only, material groups and export your file. You can use other formats, but the object format brings the material naming and that's very practical. Then I will be using this female head 01. It's a free model on Sketchfab from Lesser B3D Fab. I'm going to download the free GLTF zip file and extract the GLTF to my folder. Then in Blender, I'm going to import the GLTF. This is the one. I'm going to scale it 90 times. I'm going to remove this earring there and I'm going to export this head as an object file. Selection only, yes, no material groups. Now I'm going to import it again as an object. There it is. Okay, now select an element, pressing shift. So you keep the rest of the selection as bright yellow. Make a control J to join all the objects to the selected mesh, call this head. Go to edit mode, select everything with A, merge M by distance. You'll see that you have quite many vertices to merge. Here we are, set the origin to the geometry and now export it again as an object. I'm going to overwrite the previous head model. Now our models are ready. Let's go to Light Tracer 3.0. Now here in Light Tracer, you can drag and drop your files or you can simply go to the menu and load your objects. So here I'm going to load the head we just exported. Here I'm going to replace the entire scene. Here we are. Now I'm going to load the earrings and I'm going to add them to the scene. Okay, so now my objects are inside the head. Let's go to the scene explorer. So here you are going to find everything related to geometry. My earrings, the object is right there. I can move them here. I can separate the group. And now I'm going to select the left earring and I'm going to bring it into its perfect position right here. And here I'm going to raise the other earring. Don't forget to save your scene, save scene. Save and be happy. Now let's go to the materials. So Light Tracer has a huge library of materials, IBL lights and HDR environments. You can use them, you can customize them and obviously you can bring your own textures and create your own materials and save them to the library. So I'm going to search for the gold materials. We have several options of colors and surfaces. I'm going to use the 18 karat gold right there. So drag and drop. And that's what we love in Light Tracer. Fast, easy and efficient. That's the logic here. You'll get amazing results very quickly. Now for the gem, I want an amethyst. Here's the amethyst gem, drag and drop. Now here for the head, I'm going to use a glazed terracotta, a white one. For each texture, you can click and choose the resolution. I'm going to use a 4K PNG. It's going to download it. Now let's drag and drop. Good, the background. So here we're working with a gradient backplate. I'm going to make it darker. There we go. Now find a camera position that you like. Here you can go to the scene explorer, you can capture this camera position. And now let's go to settings. So we're going to use a physical camera. Let's focus on the earring right here. Let's set the depth of field. Now I'm going to turn on the ray casting for the caustics. I'm going to set many bounces here and ask for many rays. Now I want to customize my materials. So let's select the head in the scene objects. Here I can work on the color and all the settings of the material. 
We can change the strength of the bump map. You can change and adjust the offset of the roughness map. And here are all the options that you need for the UV mapping. This is the size for the image file. So you can change the tiling, its position, and you can flip and rotate the tiling. If you don't like some of the mapping, you can detach the map anytime you want and further customize the materials. Then also we have a clear coat. Let's adapt the thickness and roughness of the clear coat. This gives an amazing enameled glaze effect. There you go. And you can adapt the color of the coating. This gives amazing smoothness and depth to the material. And that's quite lovely. Now here, what did I tweak? Oh yes, uh, resolution, square resolution. Let's make it 4K. I made the amethyst lighter. So to do that, go to the scene object, select the object. Right in the properties, you can work on the color. I made it lighter. Now also I reset the depth of field. So center it where you want it, the strength of the effect, the position of the camera, you can overwrite previous settings or add a new position. And now let's work on the light. So we have the HDR environment making the light. Let's set it to zero to prove it. That's the intensity of the HDR, but obviously you can add light sources. So add and let's bring it to a position. Okay, here the, the scene moved inadvertently in a perfect position. So let me go to the scene explorer camera, add a camera position and save this position. Then let's go back to the lights. So I was working on this light right there. If you make a small and powerful light source, you are going to get the light tracing, the advanced light tracing is turned on up here, turned off, turned on. The bidirectional path tracing. And then the result of the metallic caustics is mainly due to the position of the light source and the jewel. So then it's all a game of cat and mouse. Also, maybe I want some dramatic shadows. And then let's reset the depth of field given the new camera position right here. The position and strength of my light source. This one is very small and very powerful. We can see some metallic rays here on the cheek, a nice background shadow from the earring using the same light source that I used previously. Save this new image, view number two, and be happy. Then it's all about the sampling. At 2000, you'll be pretty fine for the ray casting. I'm going to go higher right there. And then you can see the progress of the render. You can hide the side menus, obviously, right there. Here, the render is done. Also, don't forget the denoising. We're going to use the AI GPU denoiser with a hundred interval right there. And this is a result. And now I can save my image. I'm going to save a simple 8-bit PNG right there. Now let's go back to the earlier camera position here. And if you really want to see more ray casting, just put a lot stronger light, find a sweet spot, and you will see these amazing rays popping up like here. Then just wait for a nice amount of samples to compute and everything will be fine. Let's check from the other angle with the other light source. The light tracer is up to the task. And let me remember you that not that many softwares are capable of tracing metallic and refractive caustic rays. Save and be happy. So for the license giveaway, to participate in the license giveaway and have a chance to win, you must post a comment on this video saying that you want to participate in the licenses giveaway. Then you must send me an email at rohrbach 3 redesign at gmail.com. Then I will answer you with a unique code and you will have to post that code on your same YouTube comment to complete your participation. And don't forget to check the terms because you will be accepting the terms. So the winners will be those who post their confirmation code in their same YouTube comment as an answer. The fastest to do that will be the winners. So there is one perpetual license and five three months licenses for Light Tracer 3. The terms mainly say that I will only share your email with the Light Tracer representative for the purposes of this giveaway. And past that, I have absolutely no liability, responsibility, relation of any kind about what happens after. That will be between you and Light Tracer, all right? So don't miss the fun to participate. Good luck to all.
Great, so now we're going to work on a new scene. Here I brought one of my hands model and a chain. Now notice that the chain is not a group. I've separated the group into all the links. And now we're going to have fun with the physics simulation in Light Tracer. And it's very practical to set your jewels in your scene. Okay, so I'm going to select my chain here with shift. Now I'm going to go to physics simulation and all these objects are going to be dynamic. After now the gravity factor, I'm going to set it to 10. Now we can run the simulation and we can also record the simulation to create an animation. And that's what I want. So I'm going to record and it's finished. So in the animation tab now, down here, we have what we recorded and I'm going to add it to the output video. Now, when I play the frames, I get this, but also you can grab the elements and you can play with them. You can move them and the simulation is going to be calculated live. Yes, it's that fast. So obviously it has become a great tool here in Light Tracer. Now I'm going to stop the simulation here and I'm going to record this simulation. It's done, finish the recording. I can add this recording to the timeline and play it and obviously render the animation. Okay, so now I'm going to prepare the render. Let's set gold here. That's going to be my angle for the camera. So I'm going to save this position here. So now I'm going to animate the camera. I'm going to make keyframes for the camera. I like this view for the start. Add a keyframe right there. Now this is going to be a physical camera and I'm going to set the focus and the strength of the depth of field. So let me update this keyframe right there. Okay, so this is the first position for the camera and the depth of field. Now I have another point of view that I like. Let's keyframe this. Here we can play with the ease in and ease out and work on the curve if necessary. So now we can see the progression of the animation. Let me set a different material for the floor. Don't forget to save your scene and be happy. Let's have a look at the preview of the animation. Don't forget to turn on the AI denoising and the resolution. That's pretty sweet. Now let's render the frames as PNG and let Light Tracer render all the frames.